scroll triangle to enable menu narration. my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping From this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon.
you will be the court that unite our people. I'm so proud of you. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Look at me go! That's like a maniac! Again, dancing like you mate. What am I dancing now? Is the kid drunk? Raise your horn with me, Joey. Tonight we sleep in the heat of clan fire. May happy by me. Drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have accepted you for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Mm. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any meat.
What up, what up? Sorry, I was AFK. Yo, 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 what up? Like a Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you playing with? What the hell? Okay, let's move on. What up? What up? No, oh, I'm looking at this guy again. So this guy, I can't move. He's gonna talk to me. What the heck was that about? So, you have the ring? I have been carrying it around everywhere. Grandfather. In a battle on the northern way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stabbed yesterday? That's a good idea. What's with her voice? In the morning, Is it just me? The first light. Her voice sounds very echoey and duplicated. So I'm just organising some Christmas presents. I know this isn't a great play for or something you don't want to watch, but I will get into full gaming mode in a second. Okay, right, some more guy fella down here. Alright. Abel, wait. Skull! To Stogia! The true king of right. Burgothulga! Tonight, we all made the news! Go! May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then speed, I forth will bring. For noble deeds, I gotta sing. The brave men slain, Valkyrie awaits. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horns. For those who fight! For those who fight! Ready yourself, man! I swear down that was out of sync at some parts. She looks like the girl from Horizon Zero Dawn. Not just yet. All right. Am I still the kid? Do I control the kid? It's like God of War. All right. I'm not actually playing God of War. Do I join the battle? Let's go. Oh, it's told. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. The frame rate has dropped. It's supposed to be performance mode. Nice kill.
same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams of the filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. Get in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave. Humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship. Uh. You move. And I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? So this is the older her. The frame rate is so good and it looks so good as well. So I wonder what kind of extra quality it adds to the game because it looks pretty good. Where am I going? Go up this hill, I guess. <laughs> Can I climb? Oh, wow. Can climb. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you can climb up quite high, okay. So I need to go to the question mark. How do I get down? Oh my god. Oh. How do you get down? Oh no, not again! Shit! No! No! For fuck's sake! I can't get past this bit! What is wrong with me? Jesus Christ. Teach me how to get down. I can't get down. Jump on this bit. Okay. Okay, getting down safely now. Here we go, just jump this bit. One of Cutbay's men. I need to be careful. Okay. Is it just one guy? This place is heavily guarded. Restricted area. Is it? Where is everyone else? Can I hide the body? Oh, you can hide in bushes. <laughs> Some insulins in there.
what do I get from breaking this stuff? Lives. They fight like berserkers. Ava Wolf kissed, killed a score or more single handed. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get wrecked, dude. Anyone can loot this guy. <laughs> Lots of loot for me. of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kjotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today, he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the long house for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Shotless warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may... If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. Whoops. Can we... What? Okay, too easy, never mind.
longhouse. My crew should be inside. Can they not hear me rustling about? Can... Why can I... I can't. I don't know why it's not locking on. I mean, I can literally just kill everyone in here because it's easy enough anyway. There should be an opening in the roof. And my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. Can we drop down? <gasps> Come on, what are you doing, game? Can't drop down. There we go. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, Raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I split you! I will sell you to hell herself! <laughs> Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your What are you doing? Right. You Die, you suck of shit! Just sit then, it's okay, okay. Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! <laughs> Go into the light. Bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. Sorry, I just uh, had a little daydream. Ok, 
Game of Thrones. What's going on here? Oh, is this my crew? I didn't. I literally just opened the door. You guys got out really easy. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. That's still. Am I just doing all the work here? Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about all the pausing and shit. Okay. I can't do anything here yet, I don't think. Oh, I can. Well, I got skills. Okay. Auto assign skills. Auto assign points. Inventory. Can I change this to a cooler? Oh, nice. Very cool. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay. Let's get a sword. Let's get an axe and a shield. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Man, I look cool. Can I loot anyone? All right, we're gonna go over here, boys. Let's go. Come on, Em. Oh, for that. Ah, okay. Come on, Em, shoot me then. <laughs> Thanks for the free arrow. Oh, there he is. Get him! Whoa, he's running away! Get him! What? What's going on? Can you just jump down? Look for the open! Yeah, get out of here. Oh shit, I'm in a... Danger. Get on the ship, boys. Can I do anything around here? I can't do anything here. All right, let's go. Let's get on the ship. Nice water. Get on. What up? What am I doing? Get down. Get down. What are you doing? Just get down. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's going on? Oh my god, what? This this game feels shit. I don't know why. Go. Ask for a song. Oh, I can control it. Where did the controls go? Why are we going so fast? Silent, Anything to say for the mess you led us to? What are you doing? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like I was. What is happening? Reckless, blind, what? Bone -headed, and I smell like blood and shit. Get on. I like my version better. Stop jumping to everything! Jesus Christ! <laughs> right, how do you reverse a boat? What is going on? Oh my god. Sailor. That's for a song. Doesn't work. Right, where am I going? Where do I need to go? Down here? I'm going the wrong way. Down. Oh my god, this is so awful! How? <sighs> More sail, go this way, go this way. Can't fucking captain a boat. Sail. Catch the wind. No, stop it! Turn around. Fucking hell. Let the sail out. Go.
Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Jotva will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it! Riches. Just take care, Abel. What are you doing, bro? Hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Kjotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. Finally, we made it. We turn to ice if I stay here. Well, well, the feeder of... We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. 
Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Alrighty. Stealth damage, range damage. I could do probably more melee damage and more range damage. Let's do that. Alright, where's the next bit I need to get to? What are cloudberries? And what do they do? <laughs> Whoa! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! <laughs> Shut up! Let's do family as matters. And why suddenly so many arrows on my screen? Hello, Eivor. Oh, what's this? Something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that There's a lot of screen axe? tearing going on. I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Do you 
need anything else. <laughs> now are you, Gunner? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That is all for now. Return any time. Must be finished now. But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. So I need to complete this one first before I can continue with Family's Matters. Right. Okay, just... Stand on the fire. Am I going up the mountain? Some mount. What is this, RDRT? Is that my mount? What did that say? How do you get off? Why is circle this man and triangle mount? That doesn't make sense. Oh wow. Okay. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I am. Uh... I have come for your advice, in a private matter. Come. 
Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. That knocked her out really quickly, okay. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Anything around here? Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Oh, I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? Well, there's candles everywhere. I'm not getting knocked out by the cold and there's snow. What is this? Harvey, our fates are fixed. Take it! Who is that? Take it! What is? What has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. Oh, 
was that square that came up on the screen? Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's whole slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Alright, so I can continue with fucking Flammy Maz, yeah? There we go. Whoa, okay. So, bring up my skills. What's my skills? upgrade this stuff. Is it worth upgrading now?
Shout, fool! They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Someone there, <sighs> hey, hey, careful with that one. <laughs> hey, Vaughn! Sigurd! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, salt-cured viking <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a start. <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kyrtvis' men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors, 
and recovered my crew. For that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Chotbe from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. <laughs> father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. Why is this I shield you, doing that? By the winter's it's end, really the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all. He has dogged us too long. Shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River. Raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard... We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. <laughs> ah, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. 
What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> this clan of yours... It has a name. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. I'm just updating the title one second, everyone. I forgot to put PS5 in there. Hopefully it brings in some people. Because I am a loser. <laughs> Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. attempt take that one down from the ledge Oh, am I supposed to go here? Oh, I'm supposed to climb up, am I? I see. What are you doing? Oh my god. Game, stop! Drop! Challenge. Leap down upon that target from above. <laughs> exactly, just like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. <laughs> Does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? 
Surely we have more. I th Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Thank you. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Shot this warriors. Going. Who is this person? Why is he winning? What up, dude? This one should not have come alone. I should find the others. What do you see, Sunan? I don't Stretch really know wings, how man. you use this bird. What? Is this where I need to go? So disoriented right now. What do you see? So need to go over there. I have a 
bad. We wait. Kjotve grows strong. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. We may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Oui. Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Beeps, let's go. There's just gonna be two of them. Let's get out of here. What the fuck did I like come from? We can raise the sail in these. Oh shit. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurt. Like a stuck oh, pig in a drift of snow. What a hero I am. Row our way out. Home in time to join those I have missed, those I love. In this glorious fight, today we seize Nokfall from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. Ah! He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his death. Away! You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Not right now. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Steerbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. 
You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Let's have a song. There are sea skull among you. When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cup. You salt skulls got a story. You may not know this, but Ragnar Lothbrok once asked me to lead his Save early assault on Ink. Can't race a sail yet. Fire, what do I do? Just jump in the water? Oh no, there we go. You're mine. Who said that? Whoops, I think he's on my side. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. How do I heal? I get the torch up. Torch. I absolute 
absolutely hate how they've the, the buttons, the button layout is so annoying. this game man like what is going on the ravens claim no fall for odin raise this place burn and it's got trashy controls where am i now what These things. Yeah? No? Okay, it looks like he's doing something. Why do I keep standing on fire for fuck's sake? For fuck's sake! Oh my fucking god! What is this game? <laughs> For fuck's sake! The Ravens claim no fall for Odin! Raise this place! Burn and pillage! Let all who bless to shut faith! God, what is going on? For fuck this game, what is going on? What? 
I don't get it. This game, man, is so bad! What? What is... What is happening? I just don't know! Huh? What? What? What, uh, what do you mean to do? These button layouts are terrible. What is going on? I don't. Why is there no lock on? What is this game? Bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kyrtwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kyrtwe is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyrtve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley. Near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kyrtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kyrtvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end.
Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kurtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today, my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors, and cut short the court of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. ...but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham... ...I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones... ...but Kjatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kjotve dies this day. On that... ...we are agreed. <laughs> It's mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your rennets to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. I, li I literally can't do nothing. Oh my fucking god. This is not your day to die. What is going on? Why do you refuse to die? We are not alone, Chatve. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. Oh! 
fuck's sake. Into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire. Oh, I've got a helmet now. Why am I not wearing this helmet? I'm just. Oh, this game, I'm just gonna fruit people. Oh, 
Perhaps if I can equip two axes. Can I not? Hmm, okay. Jesus Christ. Fucking do something! Jesus Christ! I'm just waiting. Fuck it. Mama's home. Blind pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Please. His father dies twice today. rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruya Vilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Kuthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. 
I will bring news of our victory to Father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Zuna. Another time. I have a long way to travel. Why is nothing explained in this game? Why am I losing health? Oh no, that's not my health. I'm half. Why am I an idiot? It's my fucking horse stamina. <laughs> oh fucking hell. A foul stench, but we are strong, Ernie.
Where? <laughs> Why is it not blipped? Seal face and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. I will feed your teeth. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim. Watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the Longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick. To work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Time to fight for now! now. Drink! 
like a thing in your worthless life. Not even close. You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wolf kissed. You are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. 
But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change, and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjörn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I am bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross our threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. <laughs>